I've got the sample things. I've got the rain and spring. Got spicy chicken wings. Not only did Annie change the way I thought about the future, she changed the way I thought about the past. Hey, Park, where do you learn to kiss like that? I've got the summer breeze. Got 16 cans of peas. A two-speed window fan when it's 93 degrees. Hi, uh, you must be Lizzie. <laughs> Who was that? My mom. Where's she going in such a hurry? She said, anywhere. I'm Kennedy's sister, Blossom. Blossom? That's a stupid name. <laughs> Hi, Lizzie. Hi, shrimp. Um... Lizzie, I'm six. You're a lot older than six. <laughs> um, no, that's, that's my name. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Lizzie, you want to play dolls? No. And this is my toy. And you can't play with it. Uh, excuse me, Lizzie, that's my purse, and you can't play with it. You're not the boss of me. Well, this afternoon I am, and I have a few rules, okay? One. No screaming. Two, no playing on the furniture. And three, no megaphones! I hate it here. Come on, Lizzie, let's go upstairs to my room. Anything to get away from her. <laughs> Look at the picture I do for you, Blossom. Oh. I'm not playing with you anymore! I'm hungry. Do you have any crap in here I can eat? You know, you could ask nicely. Oh, please. Blossom, this demon child is totally stressing me out. Not to mention stifling my creativity. I have to get out of here. You would desert your own partner? In business, no. In babysitting, yes. What do you have with a lot of sugar? How about an apple? How about no? Give me a shirt. How about no? I bet you give Candy one. Well, she's my sister. No, she's not. She's your stepsister. That's really not the point. And I don't believe in rewarding anyone for bad behavior. Now, maybe if you settle down and act like a nice little girl, I'll give you a t-shirt later. I want a shirt now! Well, you can forget about it. That's not fair. You're not sharing. Grown-ups are supposed to share. Now give me a shirt! I am not going to give you a shirt. I want a shirt! I want a shirt! I want a shirt! <laughs> my parents you're going to jail hi you must be ralph and nancy i'm nick this is carol and of course you're lizzie duh duh i've got the sample things i've got the rain and spring got spicy chicken out of here no the more to see show's over let's go uh, hit it it may not be spring it may not be fall it doesn't matter, we're having a ball. Do you know why? No, tell us why. It's quite simple, you see, like getting down on one knee. So say goodbye to Boohoo and hello to our new friend, Drew. <laughs> I've got the summer breeze, got 16 cans of peas, a two-speed window fan when it's 93 degrees. Hey, Arnold, 23 hours till you die. <laughs> Come out of your CD player. <laughs> Arnold, that moron, how I hate him. And yet, I love him. So mysterious, so suave, such a distinctively shaped little head. You ignore me, but deep down you know how I really feel. It's love, love, love! I've got the sample things, I've got the rain and spring, got spicy chicken. And why did that minute alone, Helga? Because of... Oh, leave me.
me alone. I'm hearing your anger again, Helga. Okay, so you hear my anger, so I get angry. I already told you that I've got a lame mom, a blowhard dad, and a perfect sister. So they make me mad. Big deal. So why do you take it out on Arnold? Why do you keep bringing up Arnold? I am not angry at Arnold. Helga, I've seen you express more anger at him than anyone else. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, Helga, if you feel like getting something off your chest, like how you feel about Arnold, now might be a pretty good time to do it. Anything you say will be kept in confidence, of course. Confidence? It's my professional code not to tell what goes on here. You're sworn not to tell? Of course, Helga. I mean, you're sworn, right? Even if you were tortured, you'd never tell? I swear never to tell. You mean, so like, if someone stuck your head in a cage with a starved rabid rat, you still wouldn't tell? Even then, Helga, I still wouldn't tell. Well... I... You... I... I love Arnold! There! I said it! I love him! I love him! Arnold! 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 I'm absolutely positively in love with the boy! I want to grow up and have a fabulous life traveling around the world with him! Coffee in Paris! Roses! Sailboats! The whole nine yards! I want to have a perfume named after us! Arnold and Helga! I love Arnold! Campfire last... Perfect. Good morrow to you, miss. Could I interest you in some chocolate turtles? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you show me what you got? What do you say we step into my office? That's a funny place for an office. Unhand me! Oh, what is this junk? Where's my burger? Where's my double chocolate milk with the two baby straws? But the health food plate is much more binding. I don't need binding, Sheena. It's okay, Helga. I know all about your gastrointestinal disorder. What? With your constant trips to the bathroom and all? That's it, granola girl. You're dismissed. And take this health crap with you. It wouldn't be worth it, believe me. Um, hi. Uh, excuse me. I was wondering if you could tell me where you got your hat. My hat? Yeah, I love it. Um, I got it at Lidsville, in the mall, across from Wayne's Wigwam. My name's Alex. I know that. You're Alex Mack. Ray Alvarado's your best friend. You've lived on Rivernut all your life, and you used to like Scott Green, but it didn't work out. And you're Rotten Russo. I think you're awesome, Alex. I really do. I hope I can be more like you when I get older. My name's Jenny. Thanks, Jenny. Well, anyway, I don't want to bother you. I know you've probably got a zillion things to do. That's okay. You are so cool. Please, we have to get organized. So oh, what's the use? Yeah, if, like, what you say is true, all the fun of being a kid is, like, totally ruined anyway. It's like the whole world's been turned right side up. Swinger girl? Is that you? Hey there, Spinelli. What's going on? But I thought you went over the top and disappeared. Over the top? Oh, you mean last week. <laughs> nah, almost made it, but then my mom showed up, so I jumped off and went home. Now listen here, Bob. Hey, that's for not knowing your place, Fourweiler. <laughs> Why do you keep running from me? It's the mask, isn't it? It's not you. I have to keep moving. There's a man after me. Who? I don't know. But he's always there. He's even in my nightmares. Don't worry. I'll help you. I've got the summer breeze. Got 16 cans of bees. <laughs> hey, Courtney. Check it out. Hey, guys. Do you know Gabrielle? She's new. Hello, Gabrielle. Welcome to Linden Junior High. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you. I really feel welcome now. Hey, Ashley, I can't meet you after school. Gabrielle and I have to work on a science project. Oh, I thought you might like to borrow this. They're my favorite band. Human Sacrifice? Oh, don't let the name throw you. They do a pretty good thrash version of You Light Up My Life. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hey. This is Gabrielle. Hello there. It's a nice nose ring you've got there, Gabrielle. 
thanks. My dad hates it, too. As would any dad who's not a gypsy. See you at school, Mary-Kate. Call me if you need any help with that math homework. Thanks. Bye, Gabrielle. Goodbye, Mr. Burke. See ya. Well, she seems nice. Doesn't happen to have an Uncle Fester, does she? That's weird. Ashley told Miss Butler she was feeling dizzy. Where is she? Oh, no, that's my backpack. Oh, man, that sucks. I've got the sample pants. I've got the rain. Come on, we're going to be late for class. I can't go to class. Oh, Bevan will be there, and I have this hairy mole. Oh. Ew, I've tried creams, ointments, cover-ups. Nothing works. Then what you need is little crazy hair. someone else did how'd you know what to fix because i'm the one who broke it amp can boost other people's powers the creep squad grabbed you off the street like me they lied to our families told them they could help kids like us learn how to fit in our parents thought they did what was best they didn't know they'd never see us hey penny how about some company <laughs> why do i get the feeling this is business and not personal i take my business very personally so, what can you tell me about Winston Carter? He's a saint, a true humanitarian. He imports maple syrup products from his home country and uses them to raise money for charitable projects throughout the school. And you've never noticed anything funny going on with him or his crew? Winston might be a little snobby, but he's clean, Fillmore. And he does a lot of good for the school. And you're sure about that? Fillmore, you remember what we were like when we used to hang together? Yeah, I remember. The safety patrol turned things around for you. Got you back on the right side of the law. That's what Winston Cotter did for me.